Tak. Welcome everyone. Um, uh, before start, um, all the organizers and the Eurofython Society um, would like to ask uh, everyone to, due to all the problems we are facing today, like attacks and fear and all these other things, I would like to ask you first to uh, have a minute of silence and just to think about things that we as hackers could do to make things better. Thank you. So now let's start. Um, unfortunately, today we uh, set up the show on the stage. Um, first, we prepare uh, an opening, nice opening for you, hopefully. Uh, unfortunately, this morning, Oyer, uh, who was hosting the stage with me for the opening, uh, ha was injured, uh, so he cannot be here. Um, so I hope you um, will forgive any glitches or any problems during the, the event. Welcome. Bienvenidos y bienvenidas. Wow, was that a gravitational wave there? Anyway, and welcome to the Euro Python 2016. We are very glad to have you all here and are looking forward to spend an amazing week together. Also, we want to welcome you to the magnificent city of Bilbao, the biggest city of the Basque Country, which we are pretty sure you will enjoy as well as the conference. For this opening presentation, we have here the F's chair, Fabio Fleischer. could not be here because of an unfortunate accident. Oyeri Tsemi. My floating mother, an ACTYSS member, who is hiding there somewhere. Lady Peter. DCI team. Endor de la Calza. Cool. So, quick, before we start uh, giving more useful information, a quick look at the attendees evolution. We started um, very a long time ago. And we don't have much data uh, before 2008, but we can see we got Europython got bigger and bigger and bigger. And despite the change of location, Bilbao, I know everyone in the Basque Country will tell Bilbao or the Basque Country is the center of the world, um, but it's 
have less connections and it's a less big hub uh, compared to Berlin, we still had a, a, a very good uh, number of attendees and people joining the community. So, and uh, even more surprising, the evolution in Bilbao went from zero to <laughs> 1,000 and plus people. And we are growing every year. So <laughs> that's great job, guys. Uh, quick information bef uh, before we start about the ETF. So ETF is NeoPython Society. Uh, we started uh, the NeoPython uh, conference series a long time ago. Um, we are uh, an open uh, uh, community, and an open uh, society, and every year we try and invite more people, more volunteers, more people to help, and the best the best thing to do is, is volunteer, help us, get get involved. Uh, volunteering doesn't mean to volunteer just during the conference. Uh, we had a lot. We have a lot of uh, things to do, and the organizing a conference that that size is really hard, especially trying to keep a really good quality uh, for for the whole con the whole conference and the whole experience during the year. So, and we uh, we. So for that, we started um, a new gr work group concept a couple of years ago. Um, it's working. Uh, we we have uh, all, all the conference was managed by work group that was are, are slightly changing uh, from year to year, but the main uh, members and the main knowledge keep uh, remains in the no in the, the work group. So I, I really invite everyone here uh, to to join or, or be interested many times uh, five or ten minutes of your time uh, helping with with uh, anything or uh, like per week would be a great help for us or eventually uh, a lot of folks here are still hackers and still programmers and web developers and whatever uh, many times we we are people find a bug they, f they file a bug on github and it would take three minutes of their time, and but we didn't have much, uh, we didn't have a lot of PRs uh, helping us with the code. So I really invite you guys uh, to be more in involved, to be more in, uh, involved in the community uh, and, and helping us uh, and to make a better quality, uh, a better event every year. Um, we, uh, another very important thing, uh, actually, Another big thank to all the volunteers. Yesterday, a lot of people show up uh, and helped us to get through the other bags and everything. And it was a big time. Um, uh, another important thing is we just announced our call for inter interest uh, request, uh, call. Um, so every, every, everyone, every team that is interested in hosting Real Python next year um, can uh, reply to this uh, with announcement and say, uh, hey, I have this uh, community, I'm, I'm, I'm involved in this community, I, I do this or that, and I think uh, we'll be a great host for RealPython. Of course, you need to have a plan, you need to have an idea about venues, about budget, about w how you can do this. Uh, and the, the purpose of this uh, call for interest is start talking with, with people uh, during the conference, uh, during the conference, so, we can actually uh, have more things set up. Uh, a call for, for paper will be, uh, will follow up uh, based on the, on the interactions of, of this call for interest. Uh, and those are the timelines, more or less, so I'm not really misspelling it, so it, it, they might be coming. Uh, cool. Next, I'll give you some basic advices to enjoy the conference. First thing, first, the Wi-Fi. You can see the password and SSID there, both here at Python 2016. But please, refrain from configuring the network right now. I really put effort in this presentation, and I'll love you to see it. We are very aware that this is in vital need and so we are glad to announce that we have improved the last year's antennas. So, if you are having any problems, put
put your Tetra pants on and go find another one. Also, we have cable for emergencies. It'll be available for speakers at the help and reception desk. But, just for emergencies. Like, real emergencies. Zombie outbreak kind of emergencies. Moving on to free stuff. Please, check your bags. If you have any problem, you can ask at the reception desk guides away. Except if it's about the t-shirt size. I'm afraid you'll have to wait a... Also, be careful with the pink fist. You will not change the size of your t-shirt if you grow during the conference. We are sure all out attendees are full of good intention, but please remember the three laws of robotics. I mean, the code of conduct. So, be nice to each other, be professional, and don't sit. And if you find any issues, let us know so we can help. Have you? <laughs> so, um, the main show is running the, this uh, level, uh, all the talking rooms and uh, the groups, speech, etc. will be free. Um, but we also have two rooms, one um, is called the Story Healer. Uh, it's for the training track, uh, and floor one we have open spaces, but it uh, will run uh, during all the conferences. Um, so a lot uh, uh, lunch and coffee breaks will happen in this area, hall one and hall two. So um, and go around, talk with, grab your food, grab your uh, drink, uh, talk with people, talk with sponsors, and. No pinches this year. So, Polly. <laughs> you regret that. <laughs> so, schedule. Um, we'll be probably keep updating that. Um, we updated that last night because of last time speaker have five talking tracks uh, for the events, but much more uh, side, side events. We have two training tracks. They are free. You don't need to register to go there. First, uh, to arrive first come, sorry. Um, they are large rooms, so we hope to have enough room, but it's really hard to, um, if everyone would use the space and, and, and you know, give their preference, it would be easier, but it's really hard to find that right room for the right talk. Um, but, um, you skipped. You skipped. Go back. Sorry. Lightning talks. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so, so, so the most important talks starting at 6 o'clock. There are no more important talks after 6 o'clock. So who, know, who has been to a Europe Python before? Who's, oh, that's a lot of people. I was hoping to recycle jokes. So, who's been to uh, Florence and Berlin? Oh, there are fewer people. So, first of all, um, for our Spanish hosts, Okay. <laughs> I'll, I'll do it on English. So, lightning talks are short talks of five minutes, no longer than that. If you try to announce a conference, you only have two minutes. If you try to skip on sponsoring and recruiting sessions and try to recruit on stage, you'll have exactly zero German minutes to do it. And. Lightning Talk Man and Lightning Talk Man uh, from Brexit will <laughs> <laughs> Divided Kingdom will celebrate the show. So if we go to the end of the five minute or two minute or zero minute, I will raise one arm.
and the audience is asked to applaud with two fingers. Test it. We have Michael Ford with us and we have Harry Parsiwell, so we have to test everything, else they shoot us. And if I raise both arms, yeah, you do a frenetic applause. And enjoy it. As uh, Laura told me, that will be the last uh, human-hosted lightning talks. Because, so, enjoy. And, oh, there's a sign-up sheet for those who didn't understand the Spanish. I didn't. Uh, it's outside this room. Please sign up with your name. Please spell your name so that I can read it. And the title of your talk. If it's about a web framework, just put in web framework and then I'll make up a title. So just put down your name so can I read it. Thank you very much. Yeah. Lady, the mother of Dragon, is laughing that the next near five and five years will be only rocket. So uh, we would like to really like to thank you, thank all the keynoters for this year we have a lot of keynoters really high quality and we are lucky really lucky to have all of them so thank you um, side events and things happening we have a cloud side data track django girl um, django girls uh, workshop on beginners day uh, those two happened yesterday that's about it uh, we have recruitment sessions happening tomorrow uh, full suit sessions panels and testing sessions there's a local track happening on the on Wednesday. Uh, we have a sprint uh, on over the, the weekend. Uh, we, as we said, we're gonna have open space between the, the, the conference, and you can we have a board outside to sign, and you can say if, if you want to have uh, your talk about anything you want to 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 share. Uh, we have help desk hap happening in the metro area, and we have the sponsors event. Uh, go visit their booth, uh, talk with them. They are really nice. Uh, we had a lot of a good experience this year talking to sponsors, and they really make this happen. Uh, all the all the show would not happen without sponsors, or at least would not enjoy the very good things that we have here or could be here uh, without them. Uh, so we have. Uh, if you're new to Python, you this. We have uh, panels, as I said, interactive sessions. Um, you can talk about your work and reach each other. Um, and we have a new metro area, um, the opposite side side of this this hall, um, right next to the Ada Python booth, uh, uh, booth uh, writing. Um, go uh, socialize. Uh, if we have a lot of natives, um, socialize with with others. Don't don't be shy to speak with everyone. Everyone here is is, is here to chat with with uh, others. Uh, talking is really the best part of of experiencing the, the conference. Uh, we are recording, so don't. If if you miss something or anything, you'll fa you'll be able to see uh, things. We will not record the thing. Um, and it will take some time, but we'll we'll really try to. Publish the, the video as soon as possible. Uh, no promise. We, we would would like to do it like the next day. It's probably gonna just happen, but in a few days or a couple of weeks, it, it should be online. In this part of the presentation, I'll show you the tools needed for the advanced mode. The Hero Python is full of wonderful people. So the social event is not to be missed. You can have your ticket at reception desk today and tomorrow if you ask nicely and give 20 euros. There are not many left, so hurry up. Of course, face to face is not the only social exchange we encourage. We will use the hashtag Hero Python or AP 2016, and we invite you to use the Telegram channel and mobile app activity stream. Speaking of which, you should definitely download as it will provide you with lots of information, even offline. It is available for Android and iOS, and you can download it searching for Hero Python.
Python in the stores. Ahem. Be open safely. Open spaces. So, um, we are running open spaces all the week. Discussion panels or anything that you want to set up and we talk with others that either didn't have time to uh, to uh, propose or you got something new last last week or you just met someone and would like to have more uh, talking about it with your friends or just you just want to have some dialogue with other folks. Um, As I said, we'll put a board outside. You can just go find the, the, the topic of your interest and create a session anytime. Um, and then you show it at the right place at the right moment. Um, volunteers, we, um, again, thanks to, to all the volunteers. Anyone can volunteer. Um, you can be a session chair, meaning that you will basically be in a room helping with the English speakers and the correct time and make sure everything works just fine. Um, um, and you can find uh, volunteers and organizers uh, that are around and ask for help. Uh, the organizers are with the Green Church and the volunteers are with wearing the red shirts. Uh, we have uh, two lounge, uh, a lounge area with uh, two uh, football tables and uh, an arcade game. We those those are uh, the cost is fifty cents, uh, and we'll be donating the, the the big money to to the charity organization. So we have a few events this year. Uh, first, uh, we are very sorry to uh, have our friends from. First one is you can find this uh, device around the store, and if you find it, it should put um, with the hashtag "Then we need to you," which can be fake, of course. Um, we and we will announce that we uh, on Thursday we will have a free free ticket for the whole night um, with the all the food. Uh, we have a Pokemon Go contest. <laughs> Conference center is a gym. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know what it means. <laughs> um, but whatever it means, the owner of the gym will uh, cook a dinner on <laughs> Wednesday at five o'clock. Um, you can ask more information later this afternoon on the desk if you're interested. Um, we have also a um, Zero Python photo contest. Uh, every day it will be uh, new uh, prize, uh, uh, first event uh, ticket uh, prize. Uh, and, and basically you should take photos of what you think represent the Zero Python uh, and conference and Zero Python community. It doesn't mean that the conference center is, is really beautiful, it's really nice, but also pictures of people and other other things that you think are the soul of the conference, um, take those pictures and, and include it. Um, and of course, remember the hashtag when you put <laughs> turn off your mobile phones on during the lightning talk <laughs> and ho the whole conference. Um, reminders. speakers. If you're a talk tech that your presentation is not presentation is okay, go check your uh, laptop real quick. Um, and on your room before you do a talk, uh, be sure everything works okay and, and your slides are, are good. Um, after your talk, uh, it will be re really nice for your uh, attendee attendees to uh, 
have your your material and um, please please leave it up there in the room it's it's always hard to go and find the right person and uh, it, it, you need to run out of your uh, spare time yes exactly very important too uh, no food and drinks drinks bringing them from outside of the menu do you have a, a vegetarian uh, a vegetarian area to bring you lunch um, <laughs> it's really hard uh, in some places uh, like Bilbao to have uh, enough veg and some to vegetarian uh, and we are we are we're, we managed to do that in way that we think we hope er, is is a good one okay so um it's it's and it's, and it's hard to be sure that other um all the, the all the food is okay for this event so we have an, uh, an area that uh, is known for that um place your lunch upstairs uh le be sure that you're not eating there um and that's that enjoy the conference i hope you will have a great time Thank <laughs> you.